Jackie Cash and Lori Kilmartin. Jackie Cash and Lori Kilmartin. It's the Jackie and Lori Show. The Jackie and Lori Show. It's the Jackie and Lori Show. The Jackie and Lori Show. Hello, Jacqueline. Hello, Lori. Wait, <laughs> I wish your name were longer. <laughs> Lori Gilmartin, how, how are you doing? Oh, oh, well, that's true. Hi. Oh, <laughs> let, let's talk about the pink elephant in the room. Wait, first of all, all right. I, first of all, I have a, a note to our listeners who are on Twitter. Yeah. I'm begging you to not snitch tag uh, people we talk about on the podcast on oh. Twitter. That's happened a couple times. I've talked about someone special. Yeah. They've, inc- they've tagged that person in really? a tweet to me. And it's like, whatever your summation of what I said, it's not right. <laughs> right. <laughs> and, and I know it's not right because I took an hour to say it on a podcast instead of taking the, you know, instead yeah. of doing it in 140 instead characters. Of the, the easy way. Yeah. How, so how, how's it look from the cheap seats? <laughs> so, yeah, don't. Uh... My feeling overall is if, if, uh, you know, people fucking do your work. You can listen to this for an hour, and we we know it's work to oh, listen yeah. to us. We get it, okay? <laughs> so let people do their work, and including the situation I'm going to tell you now, I don't need it's, anyone it's to for, know. Anyone who wants you know to what listen, this is? this is just for you, Jackie and Lori fans. Yeah, this is between us. It is. It and really so you is. You don't need to tell everyone on Twitter. You know, they can listen themselves. Yeah, make them listen. Why don't you treat us like it's REM and it's 1990? We're still in high school. <laughs> That's a musical reference uh, that is probably inaccurate, but we've given it a shot. And when I say you we, gave it, I'm don't wrote me into that. Well, one. I'm saying that we terrible in the royal we. I don't know if you know this about me, but I'm <laughs> actually are, royalty. You, okay, you are a respecter of uh, <laughs> monarchy, 1300 year old yeah, exactly. customs. Um, so I was supposed to be at the Comedy Attic this yes. last weekend. Right. Although we're taping this ahead of time. Right. So I had to cancel. Now you know I would never uh, cancel. Oh my God! Even even to say the words, it horrified is, me. Is it gonna? I'm okay. I'm, okay. I, I, I don't Just, want. And before the on Saturday, I had a CT scan with contrast, which means I took some goo and they, and they looked, looked at, at this stuff. thing. And then, um, and then that night I had a show on top of Mount Baldy where I had to, or I got to, cause it was really cool. Take a ski lift for 10, at least 10 minutes up a mountain to do a show at 20,000 feet or whatever the fuck it is. Wow. And I actually got tired on stage. Oh, because of uh, the elevation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, uh, and then coming back. So pretty mm-hmm. in both ways. It's so where pretty. Where is Mount Baldy? It's like an hour from Los Angeles. Oh, north? And it's amazing. Yeah. And Southeast? It, it, no, uh, mm. east, east. Okay. Um, and it was just like a one-off show, but they might do it once a month. And Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Amazing. amazing. Jackie at JackieCation.com. <laughs> and other news. Keep talking. And so... Um, so you had the CT scan, and right. then you went to Mount Baldy. Sure. So, sure. So that happened. And and uh, and then I, I had a couple... I got the results of the CT scan. Right. And they said, you have an aneurysm. Can I say that um, when you canceled... Uh, the comedy attic this weekend, which is now the past weekend. Yeah, I almost said, "Is it giving you an aneurysm?" Ah! But I did not want because you to couldn't say spell that. the word aneurysm. No, That's because why, right? I knew that it was it was it was too on the nose. <laughs> it was bad enough the my sort of right. I had to remember because I Jackie, was texting. And I it was, was brutal enough in text. I had to call you and go, yes. "Could I be less sympathetic sounding? <laughs> How about maybe?" When we talk to each other, I you don't have a lot of self restraint, and I appreciate. <laughs> I totally restrained myself. That right you did, yeah. There, you I go. know that that's a lot of growth, <laughs> and I'm excited for you. Yeah, progress, not perfection. But it's not as much. Along. It's not as much of a growth that's in my pelvis right now. <laughs> right. So you have an aneurysm in your pelvis. It's off of the five, aorta. Five, uh, yes, it's it's off the iliac, the left iliac. It's artery. five millimeters? Five centimeters wide. And if you Google five centimeter aneurysm, the word uh, mortality <laughs> is uh, like in the first sentence. No, no. Five fucking centimeters? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so my sister-in-law, who is uh, colloquially... Uh, colloquially? Colloquially? I can't even um, do it either. Right, whatever. But I'm we, ill. Uh, you we have ref- no excuse. We refer to her <laughs> as the angel of death. Right. So... um she is a doctor, and I said that you had this aneurysm, and she was like, that is the rarest 
a place to have an aneurysm. Has she had, have they checked for other aneurysms on her? Wow. Well, hold on. You see this piece of paper I'm yeah. holding? So before, um, before I had the CT scan, I guess I, yeah, for Saturday morning, I was like, for, I've been getting, we, we put a bunch of my mom's stuff in storage when she moved down here, right? Yeah. And it's, you know, 300 a month. And then every, every month they up at $25. It, it's like, what the fuck? So yeah. I'm like, I got to get this shit out of here. I don't want to yeah. deal with the, uh, it. It's so much. My dad left so much. I mean, it's a whole marriage worth of stuff. Yeah. So I take a couple boxes. I bring it back here. I start sorting through them. A lot of them, oh, taxes from t- 2010, oh stuff like God. that. Yeah. And then I find letters. So here's a letter from my Uncle Jack to my dad. Who, my dad was in the Philippines okay. at the time. And, of course, the letter starts, we've been hearing about horrible things happening to American civilians over there. Take care of yourself. It's like <laughs> classic Uncle Jack. <laughs> um, but then he, he, my Uncle Jack goes on to say, I just wanted to let you know that I'm having surgery because I have an aneurysm in my right iliac artery. Oh, wow. Same fucking one. Other side. And he goes, and he goes, and, and I feel like he from the grave is giving me information, right? Yeah, Because of all the times to find it, it's the day before or the hours before I'm yeah. actually having a CT scan for this thing. Yeah, yeah. So then he, he goes, and to my dad, this isn't to be confused with dad's aneurysm, because my grandpa died of an aneurysm. Wow. It was a ruptured aneurysm. So I, I go into the, uh, the doctors today. I'm like, look at this shit. It's, all, it's genetic. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah, they are checking me out. I have For other, because that's very rare, the, the pelvic uh, aneurysm. It? And she said if it's over three millimeters, they need Centimeters. To, no, no. If, if it's over three millimeters, uh-huh. they have to operate. And so what are they going to do? Are they going to put a stint or yes, are they going to try stent. to fix it? Stent. Okay. Um, so they yep. don't open me up. It's a pretty, um, the, like, I just stay in the hospital overnight and okay. they go in through the groin. It's a little incision. They're going in through a vein. and Right. Yeah, they are. Yeah. And, um, uh, but, uh, yeah, so they're going to check me for um, anything around the heart. Yeah. But this is shocking to me because... I don't smoke. I hardly ever drink. No, no. You are so much healthier than I the other out a two lot. people in this room. How about that? <laughs> By a thousand miles. I work, Yeah, but I mean. If someone would have some sort of aorta issue, <laughs> it might be Kyle Clark or Jackie Cation. It is not Lori Kilmartin. It's like, fuck. Are you serious? You know? I know. And um, so you had to cancel the gig. So, so, so I'm, I'm sitting Brutal. with this. Well, first of all, up until Saturday, everyone Every doctor, everyone is slow walking this. Everyone's like, the, even when I went to the CT scan, they forgot to fax the order for it. So I'm naked in the dre- in, and in a, in like in a, a dressing gown. gown. And they're like, we can't do it. Cause it, and I threw a fucking fit and if people started calling, but it's a Saturday. So the insurance yeah. office was closed or something. Then I found my piece of paper, which I usually u- lose. Yeah. And they're like, oh, we can use that. But so, so it's not what urgent. Piece of paper? The one that says I'm supposed to have this exact sort of a CT oh, scan. Oh, okay. So everyone's just... Oh, because they not, didn't have a reference to the scan? Yeah. You had been given a hard copy of it, and luckily you still had it on yes, you? Yes, yes, yeah. Okay, everyone, note to self. Okay, yeah. Okay, next. So they... Um, but still, there's no urgency. And then... So they get this, the results of the CT scan this morning, and finally a doctor called me and said, And of finally leaving, people are panicking. Yeah, people, uh, yeah, before this, I'm leaving messages, and I, you get an email. It takes 48 hours for a doctor to respond to your message, and it's like, uh, this thing is, I don't know what it is, but it's in me. It's driving yeah. me nuts. And now, now I know it's, 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 it's bad. A, it's a thing. Right? So I go to, and then, oh, even the doctor this morning, he's like, we're not sure if we're going to have, because I have a, I have an, it's key I get this because I have an appointment with a vascular surgeon t- this afternoon today, yeah. right? So that's why I had to get the CT scan on Saturday. Yeah. And by the way, my son had a water polo game at the same time. Right. And I'm fucking trying to organize this shit where I can get my thing and then get back to his water polo game and pick him up so he's not just sitting alone at a pool, right. you know, in, in Glendale with those, no offense, Armenians. And uh, so... Oh, no offense. <laughs> Allow me to tell you about Badarak jelly at some point. <laughs> okay. This. Yeah, Badarak jelly. So, um, so the, the surgeon walks in and he goes, he goes, hi, I'm Bruce. And I'm like... <laughs> Oh, this is bad. If he's not introducing himself as a doctor and it's first name, this is not good. Because wow. he, I, to me, it's like, well, you're going to know I'm a doctor. Yeah, <laughs> I'm about to flay open your inside, so yeah. there's no need. And he's, you know, it's he says it's five centimeters, and I, and the first thing is, I have a gig this weekend in Indi- near Indianapolis. Yeah. can I go? And he's like, mm, 
he's like, you know, it's up to you. Yes. Oh, it's up to. Oh, it's totally up to me. Oh, it's totally up to you if you want to die. He said, listen, if you know, if it ruptures on the plane, there you you, you have dead. minutes to get to the ER and you won't be able to. Yeah. And you know, I was still like. What are the odds? Uh, I'll tell you what the odds are. <laughs> Even when the odds are in your favor, you don't play those odds. Those are terrible odds. But um, I'm thinking, like, if I had known this before this Mount Baldy gig, I was nowhere near anything. Uh, 911. I, I would have to be ski lifted down while, while uh, I'm bleeding to death inside myself. Yes. Yes. So, so when are they going to fix it? So this will drop Monday. Yes. <laughs> People want to know. So the surgery is scheduled for July 12th, which is a week from, it'll be this Friday when this drops, and yeah. it's uh, like 10, 10, 12 days from now or something. Okay, so it's a week from, okay. Right. And so I had my list, I said, can I swim? And he said, you could swim, but, you know, don't do anything, you shouldn't like be- Don't push yourself. Don't push yourself. And I said, what about hot yoga? No hot yoga. No hot yoga. Um, that's okay. So swimming, it, but I actually have a friend, my friend Betsy Henry, may she rest in peace, died swimming- and I think it was an I think it was a brain aneurysm. Wow. I mean, I, I just don't want to be in a situation where I'm all of a sudden floating in the pool and if there's minutes to get me, I've got to, you have lifeguards that have to jump in, drag me out. Yeah. That's two minutes right there. You right. know what you I mean? Can, you can spend a week not swimming, but um, ah! then you might have to meditate four times a day. <laughs> oh <laughs> it's my a, God. I mean, it's a long, it's a drag, but um, yeah. And I also feel like, you know, I, I immediately, once I had the fifth and the sixth open, I immediately filled those. <laughs> I started texting people, hey, right, can right. I get on your show? I'm, I'm here. I might as well. Yeah, yeah. But I also feel like, should I be driving at night? Like, maybe I should just lift at night to gig so that if I feel a sharp pain, the doctor said, if it ruptures, you'll know it. And, yeah. and then I can, we can immediately drive to the ER yeah. or whatever. Yeah, so yeah. I'm not driving while I'm hemorrhaging and, uh, if that happens how great would it be to just take a lift to all the all the gigs i fucking My love God, a this, lift to a gig these fucking things are gonna cost me a lot of money but that's wise. you know what uh you'll there's always more money hopefully yeah. yes um so so yeah so that's the situation um uh that's bananas i have that's crazy that yeah I'm so glad more, they found it yeah i mean yeah. it was definitely me pushing because i you know i just felt kind of i assumed it was ovarian cancer right when it's <laughs> you know we're women and and everyone right. it seems like everyone we know has cancer especially women right yeah, we're just we bumps cancers. and lumps and it's everything right right everybody's and, just like how can we yeah, but kill you from the inside out and it's, it's also not, what they tell you from the outside in. what they terrify you about right yeah. they're just like you know do do your check breast your exam boobs. check this checks that make don't skip this you know appointment mm-hmm. or anything and so and I know that women die from heart disease at, at very high numbers and women don't take it seriously. But I was like, well, that's for women with heart problems, not me. Mm. And now Uncle have... Jack pipes up. Oh, my God. And you got Uncle Jack from history. the grave. From the grave, letting you in on it. Oh, my yeah. God. That was, that was kind of wild. Oh, God. Because of this letter, they're doing these extra tests just to make sure I don't have yeah. something near the heart. You know, uh, well, uh, d- the angel of death had this to say. She was like, "Well, her surgeon should definitely know that he, that 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 is a rare uh, place for an aneurysm to be. It's a very rare place for an aneurysm to be." And so, because there's another one, I guess that that just there's goes a to right your leg. iliac and a left iliac. Yeah, well, the, and and there's the one that goes to the pelvis, and there's one that goes to your leg, and the one that goes to the leg is more common. But if um, it's usually just right out of the aorta, so they need to check your heart. So um, yeah, is that they're gonna? What are they doing there? Yeah, I have something. I, I think I have an E. I don't know. I can't remember the name of all these. You tests. got the paperwork. You got it on you. So you yeah. can throw it in their face when they don't Some, fax. Yeah, something in Burbank tomorrow, and then then another one in Encino on Wednesday. All right. You oh, excuse me. To on the, Friday. You want to ride to the hospital on Friday next week? Um. I'll yeah, drive. sure. I'll drive you. Yeah. Yeah. I know old uh, Broken Bones isn't going to over here. Yeah, she's all broken. And, yeah, uh, she, and yeah. then what? Um, the th- uh, a- Andy was like, well, he- she should make her mom take her because it'll keep her mind off of things. She'll have to load her into the car. <laughs> She'll have to unload her from the car. She'll have uh, to load her into the waiting room. My mom like, doesn't know how to make a left turn out of the street, basically. She's like... I, I I drove her to a couple doctor appointments mm-hmm. yesterday, and uh, she was like, "Ah, 
oh, that's where Hollywood way. I'm like, oh my oh, God. Crying out loud. You've been here for three years. <laughs> I bought you a map of Burbank and I put it on your wall so you could study it. My dad would have totally studied it. Would, he would be there with his glasses making notes on the right. map. Not, They're different people. They are different people, but it still <laughs> irritates me. Uh, so, you know what? Yeah. If I can keep this to yourselves. Oh, yeah, yeah. You don't uh, have to wish me good I, luck. I, 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 I know you meant it. names for them. But you know what the, the names of uh, the Jackie Laurie fans are called? They're called comics. <laughs> or, or, or comedy nerds. Like comedy, like and hardcore by, comedy nerds. Guess what? The second question I asked was, can I still do my uh, my gig in Lake Tahoe J- J- July 24th? Yeah. And he's like, yes. So any one of you psychopaths mm-hmm. that immediately thought oh, Indianapolis to Tahoe do it <laughs> no if you thought oh let me go on Lori's website and see what gigs of hers I can take <laughs> you can't because oh, I'm cleared for the rest of them motherfuckers well let me put my phone away <laughs> um, so. Jackie I respect your hustle <laughs> <laughs> thank you um i uh am super well now here's the thing is all of this has made me think that maybe my three hippie doctors don't make one western doctor because uh, <laughs> oh no <laughs> because all because i've been super tired and i'm and i've got issues and i've, I've mm-hmm. all kinds of so i went to my i went to my the parade of 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 bone you know yeah. of people who read the moon and yeah. give me a pile of herbs. One of your physicians is Karen Rontowski, correct? <laughs> no, <laughs> though uh, she could probably find out what's wrong with me as well. I know she might. She, well, she would probably tell me I need more iron as well. <laughs> um, my chiropractor told me I need more iron. My acupuncturist today said, "What? You could take iron, or you could just do you like red meat? Just eat meat." Yeah, eat meat. And I was like, "Okay, I can do any of it, none of it." And she was like. Your your perimenopausal. What's happening? You know how ovaries work, right? Remember mm-hmm. how you one egg comes out. Yeah, uh, it, it alternates. Bing so, bing bing bing. Right. So one of my uh, one of my ovaries is done. Is uh, is shooting blanks. Okay. We're done. And then the other one. So the, every other, the other month, still, I have, the other one's like, I still got a shot. I still got a shot. It was some some soaking, marinating in extra chromosomes. Egg is going to just drop out of my weird old ovary. And uh, nice, it could be president. <laughs> it could be president. It could <laughs> because why not now? I know. Uh, and it should be. Pre- and it is president anyway. So. Um, Anyway, so uh, what I have is I have uh, a great deal of exhaustion and I have a great deal of um, I have metabolism issues. Like I've gained like 20 pounds in the last year and a half. Oh, really? And it's brutal. And I don't. Yes. I'm trying not to care. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm also, uh, turns out, caring. Sure. Of course. It's a, it's a great disappointment to me because uh, I, I don't. You're not just a head. You're not right. just a brain. Right. Right. I. I. It it hurts. Yeah, it doesn't feel good to right. be this heavy. Yeah, and so I was talking to my chiropractor, my acupuncturist today, and she's like, "Think about perimenopause; it's almost impossible to lose weight." And she's like, "And then she's a seventy three, seventy five year old uh, Chinese woman, and so she's like, well, eat less starches.'" And I was like, "Is that the old word for carbohydrates?" And uh, <laughs> <laughs> and her daughter, who's like 40, 50, is like, "Yes." <laughs> and, uh, her daughter knew your pain right then right but yeah oh my god her daughter knows my pain and um i don't know so i'm taking like mushroom caps and herbs and mm-hmm. just a bunch of you know i'm th- there's i'm doing whatever and then i'm taking pilates are you, yeah, how I've, many I've done four, have done four private one on one. That's set. a lot. And I'm going again tomorrow. It turns out my glutes hurt. Um so but we're doing tiny um increments, right? Yeah. It's all these tiny things. And I guess my shoulder has bursitis, baritis, bur- bursitis, bursitis. Yeah. Whatever. It just means that I strained something uh, right. months ago and I need to fucking chill. Yeah. Uh, so there we're not working the the shoulder. It's a great story. Let's talk about No, comedy. no, no. I am I'm interested yeah. in this. No, no, I know. But it's um so those are my health issues. I'm hoping uh but I am I'm trying to but well, I'm trying to exercise more. Mm-hmm. Because I because I think I have more energy when I exercise, mm-hmm. but I'm uh, also very, very sleepy. So uh, in between, <laughs> I, I got back uh, from Kansas City. Yeah. So the flight was at 830 in the morning. I saw you tweeting. I'm like, you just had two shows last night. Why are you fucking awake? I don't know why. Why I did booked you do it for to so yourself? Early. 
It was dumb. It was super dumb. Did you save much money? Uh, I must have saved some oh money. Oh my god! Because uh, it's not worth it. They bought me up to first class. Well, but then I hold sat on. next to this woman who had a very adorable cocker spaniel. Who I was like, "Can I pet your dog?" And she said, "There was this awesome pause." And she goes, "You can, but if you pet her now, she will want to sit in your lap for the whole ride. Why don't you pet her on the way down, and <laughs> then she will not. She's like, she will abandon me in a minute. And I was like, okay. So th- I waited because I didn't want to hold the dog in my lab for three hours. Sure. Um, oh, you know what? What that reminds me from the commie at- attic. I had a seven p.m. flight out on Sunday. Oh, it means I could stay. I could. I could get right. a late check out. Yeah, I can. I had. I was so excited because I love the comedy attic. I yeah. love the shows there. I love the pool in Bloomington. It's a fucking <laughs> outdoor 50 meter pool. There's Where is that? There. That doesn't happen that much. Right. Okay. J- Jared said he'd bring it back, obviously, right? Yeah. I mean, he was understanding. No, he was totally. It was so J- cool. It turns out totally you have cool. a letter from a doctor. <laughs> yes. It's not no, Epstein's very, fucking mother. So, so, so yeah. nice. All right. There's that pancake plate. I had, I had like every minute of the, of the whole weekend planned out. I love And every meal planned it's out. It's so good. Yeah. Um, yeah, but you, no, early morning flights on a Sunday. Horrific. Yeah, it was dumb. But uh, so the the shows in Kansas City were fascinating. To oh, me. yeah? Yeah. So were you there Friday, Saturday, or Thursday, Friday, Thursday, Saturday? Thursday, Friday, Saturday, okay. five shows. Okay. And it's their 11th week wow. of being open. Right. So uh, do they have like a full liquor license and everything? Yeah. Okay. Um, but they have, um, what they have is... Um, they're building. They're they're not in Kansas City. They're mm-hmm. outside of Kansas City. By the way, flying home, uh, also in first class. Greg Proops, two seats in front of me. Oh yay! Yeah, because uh, he had been at the Negro Hall of Fame, baseball Negro uh, baseball Hall of, League of Hall of Fame. Yeah, museum because they have four great museums, I guess, in Kansas City. So the next time I play Kansas City, uh, keep this club open because I want to go back to Kansas City. Uh, they have that one. They have the, one of the only World War One museums in the world. Whoa! I they, oh, yeah. I'd be into- they they have the, the Negro Baseball League one. They mm-hmm. have an art museum that's supposed to be amazing. Mm-hmm. And they also have a jazz museum. I don't mm. like jazz, but I'll go to a jazz museum. I like jazz. Um, yeah. So, Kansas City. <laughs> right. The two of you can road trip. Her, uh, how unimaginative Jackie is. It said, uh, I like marching bands. You did not save yourself. <laughs> I didn't. That wasn't a, that wasn't a win. <laughs> You're wrong. Lizzo. She was in marching band. Mm-hmm. Did you see her pull out that flute and rock it? Anyway, yeah. uh, here's the scoop. The so shows the were great, but they were lightly attended. Right. And uh, like Saturday for a show was the biggest one, like 70 yeah. people. Okay. But the room is great. Really? Because he, he, Dustin Kaufman's the owner, right? Yeah. He dropped the ceiling. Oh. He put the nice ceiling in. Wow. He's got a beautiful kitchen, which was supposed to be open, but isn't open. So he's losing money not having Ooh, it. But he's, right. I think he's, he said that they were, they were making their nut. They were making their nuts. That's, so, that's amazing to do it so early, right? Super amazing. That's sort great. of like Tom in yeah. um, uh, Stir Crazy. Stir Crazy. In Glen- is it Glendale it, or Scottsdale or Phoenix it, it, or something? It's yeah. right outside of Phoenix. Right. And uh, so, which I'm going back to in a month or so, which is great. Mm-hmm. And then, um, but so the sets were interesting. I had uh, a lot of fans came out. Jackie and Lori fans came cool. out. Cool. Um, and Dork Forest fans came out, and I recorded two Dork Forests on the Saturday. But here, there was an interesting show, both second show Friday and second show Saturday. You know, okay, tell me if this, if you're in a room and it's full and there's someone not enjoying a joke and they make a comment about it or just they sort of harumph and fold their arms, yeah. you might notice them uh, if, they're, if they're noticeable. But you will most likely not even, you won't even feel it Mm -hmm. because of the number of people. Right, right, right. But if one person does not like a joke out of 20 people, that's a real percentage. And they're all sitting in the front two rows. That's exactly the percentage I had of dying on the plane. He said, you have 5% chance on any single day that this thing will rupture. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah. That's not. Yeah. So uh, it was an old guy, these old parents who brought their 21-year-old daughter, uh, and I'm sure she thought that it was going to be full, because maybe she brought them. Yeah. And the MC has some very funny, uh, super dirty jokes. This mm-hmm. woman, Anna, mm-hmm. uh, she was great. And then the feature, squeaky clean, but a little, you know, uh, adult content as well. Mm-hmm. His name is Nick. and uh, Squeaky and adult? Yeah, well, you That's know, it's an odd combo. But like Brian Regan, you oh, know? Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just like yeah, uh, the Regan topics. Isn't like- no, the topics are 
are for everyone. Oh, I see. But the okay. twist, mm-hmm. you you have to either be smart enough or um, or like there's with with Regan. Some of my favorite Brian Regan bits have this undercurrent of rage, right? That is very adult. Yes, yes, and yes. feels enormously oh, right. pointed, and uh, and and it's some of my favorite stuff. Is. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so uh, I'm doing this joke that I wrote on the run of Eastern Europe about condoms and about using condoms. And it's in the setup. I talk about how um, some guys say, I don't want to use a condom. And I say, uh, would you rather uh, something along the lines of, uh, did you want to have sex uh, with a condom or not at all, which Mm -hmm. feels better. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and then, um, then we have a sex with a condom and our lives are complete and it's fine. But um, the, the guy, the old, old dad guy, like harumphed in the middle of that bit. And I thought about, like, I feel like Chad Daniels <laughs> would have stopped right, and looked at him and go, oh, I'm sorry. Would that, was there some social, co- like the social contract of I, I'm getting laid. Yes, I'm in on it. Does that mean that I agree to everything? Like we're going, we're going raw dog like we're naked you, you could choke me uh i have to take it up the ass i mean like it's an amazing thing to go harumph folding your arms no you, <laughs> you said we were having sex and now you want to use a condo and i was like do i want to have that conversation with this old guy who is clearly is already sad that he has to sit next to his 21 year old daughter and listen to dick jokes mm-hmm. uh, at all. Um, and I, and I, and I didn't, and I thought, is that the better part of valor or did I just chick it? I mean, would you have a dr- Cause you don't mind talking to the I'm audience. I'm always interested in dissent. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you are. You are interested in yes. dissent. Yeah. I sold a bunch of merch, which was weird because there were That's like, amazing. if there's 20 people in the audience and I'm selling a hundred dollars worth of stuff, it means oh five God. people bought something. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. That's amazing. Um, yeah. The, I, the shows I had this week were, um, kind of stuff around here and, um, we, like we at Conan, we, uh, worked on Friday and we, you know, are on, are on a hiatus week. So oh, okay. it's, I'm, I'm around. Yeah. You showed up to breakfast this morning and Early. then left. Well, I got there. I thought it was at 10. I had to get oh. to my appointment. Oh, fair and enough. Then everyone showed up at 1030, but I it was 1030. And then I was 20 minutes late because I had to run home and get Andy and bring yeah. him back. But, um, uh, yeah, but the Baldy show was really cool. It was really, um, again, the show itself was exhausting because yeah. it's, and it's, it's like in a lodge. So you have to use all of your energy to just sort of fill that space. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But the crowd was nice. They were good. I hope they I hope they do it again. Yeah, it was me really too. fun. That'll be great. I know that um Kansas City uh they brought the the sound system is outstanding. Wow. Yeah. It's got really nice stage monitors and because of the low ceiling. Uh-huh. Like I think they brought a the a real audio person. <laughs> oh, so everybody sold their comedy clubs last in the last month or so. Okay, so tell me. I've, I've been hearing this secondhand. Okay, well, so obviously. Well, and no all I have me. is I have kind of the same information you have. The Laugh Factory. Yeah. Uh, J.B. Masada finally retired. I don't know. I think he sold the brand, the whole thing, right? To the know. One of the Lakers guys. Wow. And um, and then Ice House got so sold. So that includes Long Beach and Chicago? And- I think so. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then... Um, was it was it Bronson who wanted to buy it? Was that what we read on the thread? Rick Bronson from Canada. Oh, I don't know. House of Comedy in Minneapolis. Ta- I, I remember Tammy. Is that yeah? Tammy and okay. Rick Bronson are are married. Okay, and um, but that was Laugh Factory, I believe. And okay, instead they sold it to the Lakers guy. Okay, a Lakers guy, and then Ice a House. Laker or a Laker executive, a Laker executive, like someone who owns the Lakers, is what okay. I understood. By the way, feel free to correct the gossip. This is some half-assed gossip, you guys. But it it's is, a real clock year. I, I hope everything's okay, but it is worrisome when big money gets into things. It's all corporates. Laugh Factory, Improvs, just got sold. Hartman. Oh. Yeah, Levity. Oh, so Levity bought all of them? No, Levity just sold it. To? AMC. Oh, my God. Ew. Wow. Ew. E-W-W. That's what I have to say to that. Because, <laughs> uh, I mean, wow. I don't even care anymore. I mean, I want to work everywhere. Right. Me too. But what, what, are you, what are you doing? Like, this is not, they're not, it's not that 
I mean, it's just it's just a like movie is entertainment, being, but it's like, not an entertainment venue. Well, yeah, I mean, it's just like uh, you know, AT and T bought HBO and TBS. It's just like it's weird to have. I don't know. A club should be a local owner. It right? should be Dustin Kaufman. <laughs> it should be like the the person that owns it, books it, and because the, they know it. And yeah. If, and the person, if they don't book you, it's because they personally hate you. Right. And it's then not- you can just <laughs> suffer and just suck it up. But and it's be not sad. like a corporate decision. I don't know. Mm-hmm. It's disturbing. And then the Ice House got sold as well, right? Right. Ice House. But I don't know who bought that. It was corporate, though. Wow. It was someone corporate. I wonder what so. that means for comics like you and me and people that aren't like Tiffany Haddish or, or, or whatever, you know what I mean? That aren't no big I names. Don't. So wait, just because they weren't booking us anyway, were they? Did you ever get booked in Chicago at the Laugh Factory? Um, no. Were you close? No, I was I mean, never even close. But I do spots at the Laugh Factory sometimes. Oh, the, I don't. Okay. Yeah. And, um, um, no, but I mean, I don't know. I want to. I want to. I want yeah, to work yeah. all of them. Well, I, I, work. I thought well, maybe one day I'd be able to talk the improv into into you know working me in one of their road rooms. You really? Know? I mean, I, I haven't tried. put a lot of in- energy into it because I have like five weeks a year available. Right, right. Because so. you have three jobs already. It's but yeah, very, yeah. But, but, but I'm I just have. saying, like, I haven't put yeah. a lot of energy into it. But I thought, well, maybe one day I can. You know, at some point I'll mm-hmm. have fucking every week available. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, but. I don't yeah. know. Maybe that'll just never happen. We maybe well, we should just really m- now more than ever be on the hunt for small rooms that that we can work for sure. I, I mean, think, aside from the clubs that work us, I'm, I mean, like that thing that you put together for in, you and me in, in, in Oregon, Oregon and say in Bend and um, Eugene, Eugene and Portland. Well, Three I don't nights. know about Portland. We haven't heard from that guy yet. No, no, he's he's in. For the brunch show? Yeah. Oh, cool. But it's not brunch. It'll be midday, but it won't be brunch. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay great. And uh, Fun. Yeah, because it'll be... But it, does it have to be 1 o'clock? Um, at the what la- time's your flight? It's a f- like a 5 p.m. PMS, PMS flight, so I might need to get out of there by Oh, God, 3. yeah. But I'll double check. I'll double okay. check. Okay. Because uh, we're thinking... We're doing shows the weekend of Thanksgiving yeah. up in Oregon, and I have to be back at work, and my kid has to be back at school. He'll be with me because it's Thanksgiving. Right. Um, on so Monday you'll morning. Have to leave. So we need. To, I was looking for a super early Monday flight that would get us back to LA, you know, at seven thirty. But they don't have them from Portland. They stop ten places, so we'd have to leave Sunday night. Yeah. And there's no late night. I'll double check. Yeah, I thought there wasn't, but I'll look again. But well, just to make sure, because it might be a brunch show. It'd be weird. Yeah. Uh, but the the guy seemed into it, so uh, but you know what? Our fans are weird. They'll be into that shit. Yeah, some people of them, just want to. Some come of them to- go to bed at three o'clock in the afternoon anyway. Uh, me. <laughs> uh, what I like to do is, <laughs> it was so people keep calling me, and I'm like, not between three and five. That's, <laughs> that's comedy nap time. I don't know if you understand comedy nap time. Nice. But uh, if I can, I'll stretch it to six, six thirty. <laughs> All the the shows in uh, in Kansas City started at seven thirty, and it was so weird because they'd send someone to pick me up at seven fifteen. Wow! And I'm like, I feel like we're coming in hot. I like to get there like a half hour, you know, before the show starts. That sounds just perfect sort of, to me. Let's change right. it to seven seventeen, please. <laughs> <laughs> Two minutes later. <laughs> yeah. So I I don't have any sets this week. And you know what Andy Ashcraft had to say about that? He was like, well, you got to find some. <laughs> <laughs> He's had it with you. <laughs> he knows. He knows that I become a little twitchy if I do not work. So, hey, let's do uh, a break. A Max Fun break. Hi, it's me, Paula Poundstone. And it's me, Adam Felber. We have a podcast called Nobody Listens to Paula Poundstone. It's a comedy podcast where we bring on experts to teach us stuff we need to know. And, by the way, the guy who came to tell us what to do when you encounter a bear never showed up. Anyway, it's fun. You are guaranteed laughs in every episode. You can't really guarantee laughs. What if somebody doesn't laugh? We'll get sued. Join us for our next episode where we have an expert in consumer law explain to us how to defend ourselves against one humorless litigious shut-in with enough time on their hands to sue us over our unfulfilled claim of guaranteed laughs in every episode here at MaximumFun.org. The Cat of the Week is Mabel from Green Bank, West Virginia. And then let's also do Comic of the Week. How, what, how much time have we done? 33 right. minutes. Comic of the uh, Week. Mary Bacay. 
Yeah, but Kate, and it's Mary, uh, yes. B-E-C-Q-U-E-T-S-Q on Twitter. Yes. B-E-C-Q-U-E-T-S-Q. It'll be in the notes. Mary Bikay, we were just watching her. Yeah, funny. Yeah, really funny. I think funny. she's our age, right? And, yeah, a little older even. Yeah. Hard to believe. Hard to believe. I know. Oh, here's something that happened in Kansas City. One of the young comics came up to me and he was like, are you really in your 50s? Nice. And nice. I was like, yes. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and he goes, I thought you were like 32. And I said, emotional. <laughs> uh, I, and, but I literally I just wanted to say to the guy are you just blowing smoke up my ass or do you literally so bad at, at judging what people they look like tell. well that's what he they he can, said when I, they're I like 25 or tell. under they think everyone's 33 right and then 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 when you turn 33 then you start getting better at going a bunch oh, of local older that guys person's showed way up, older way. than me was Elliot Threat there uh yes cool and he said hello to you. Yeah, he, I uh, worked with him so long ago. He's it's weird. He's from like a Kansas City royalty. Like his dad was a mayor or some some higher up or a councilman. Sure, big fish. Yes, he was big, big fish, fish in Kansas City, and um, and he was a very funny comic. I worked with him. They all seemed really nice. They were hanging out Saturday night. Everybody came out, and I was like, "That's I cool. sadly have an early flight tomorrow morning because oh. I would have hung out." Yeah. Uh, Inman came by oh, and with his girlfriend and um, so how's how's it going for him in Kansas City it's fine he, he had had a show they had all had sets they yeah. all had shows around uh, somewhere bless you bless you so there's and a lot of work in town so I think there's work like our like hour and a half out, out of Kansas right. City for people yeah um, we'll see do you know we'll see that sounds familiar he does a lot of USO stuff and he has actor stuff he has like okay commercial work and he ended up the um the MC got sick last minute on Thursday. Yeah, and uh, the MC who worked the rest of the weekend, which was Anna, uh, it was her birthday, like her her birthday birthday, and mm-hmm. she was like, "I don't want to do stand up," which is never whatever I think. But no, uh, I have a set on my birthday, seven sixteen. Seven sixteen. If I can get to Comic Con, because uh, the doctor said, "Well, uh, you know, maybe you shouldn't go to Comic Con." Uh, we're supposed to. My surgery's on the twelfth, and I'm supposed can to. Can I have leave. your hotel room? <laughs> <laughs> wow, you are ruthless. It's unbelievable. Can you imagine? <laughs> I'm just to go le- to comic leave on the 14th mm-hmm. and um, you know, stay there the whole time. I think but he, the way he's he's just said you'll be pretty tired. And uh, I'm like, you'll be sore. It can be. It, the, the, uh, did you have some sort of injury in your pelvis ever? Did you get no. in a car accident or anything like that? No, or? just my son. He in, he was an injury oh. to my pelvis. Well, that's right. That's uh, um, I let's not blame it on him. <laughs> and uh, I got to blame it on some family member. Ex- well, not, my, true. My, my you only, should blame it on your dad. Per- person is Uncle Jack and Uncle Jack. You should name it on the dead. Uh, <laughs> blame it on the because uh, on the thirteenth, I'm going to um, Milwaukee. Yeah, I got a call actually from Madison, Wisconsin. Um, the local radio station was like, "Hey, if you're going to be at the 12th, I'd love you to be a guest on my radio show. I listen to the Jackie Laurie Show, W O R T. Oh, neat!" And I was like, "I wish I was coming in the 12th, but I am not. I'm coming in the 13th." What? Um, um, why can't we work Madison on state? Uh, well, I haven't. I've done it twice. Yeah, but so I literally am going to land in Milwaukee at like two thirty three in the afternoon on Saturday. Ron Funches is headlining. Yeah, Blair Scochi. Yeah, uh, featured, and I'm going to. Uh, Have you I'm, done their show at Genghis Cohen? No. Oh, it's great. Oh, good. It's a lot of fun. But I'm going to drive to um, Madison, and pr- you know it's a Saturday for a show. I don't obviously. I'm not going to get a guess at. Yeah. But I'm just going to poke my face in. And go, remember I exist in an old school stand-up comedy. That's, remember, Mm -hmm. we've been doing that for 35 years. (laughs) That's what was suggested to me for the Ice House, to pop over and just say hi. Yeah. I would do it, I think. I wasn't getting many spots from Jan, you know? and so sort of re-meet. Yeah, just to say hello. Introduce yourself to the new. Yeah, Mm mm-hmm. It's it's not too far away. No, it's just Pasadena. Twenty yeah. minutes. Mm-hmm. Twenty five minutes. Easy peasy. Yeah. Um, interesting. Mm-hmm. I am psyched about my hour. By the way, it's coming up. Oh, and then I was given this suggestion. What do you, th- Tommy Ryman, today at breakfast? Yeah, was talking about how some people aren't releasing albums; they're just releasing tracks, and then getting them played on XM and getting them sound exchange money. Yeah, that's the smart. only the, there's there. Uh, I thought it was smart, and then I've been no. thinking about it, and I'm like, it feels more like burning it, burning material for new for existing fans, 
because some of the existing fans come out to hear the weird bit that I mentioned on the show or right. stuff that like I'm playing uh, Denver again in September, mm -hmm. uh, the works, and I have probably 10 new minutes from when I did it in February. Damn, that's a fast turnaround. It's very... F Oh, the, uh, them bringing me back? Yeah. It's because I sold the place out. Fuck. Do you know why I sold the place out? Because Denver 24-7 plays my albums all the time. I know, but that's still a fast turnaround. It's outstanding. I was a little scared about it, but now I'm okay with it because I'm liking like, the longer sets stuff. are helping. Yeah. I have great. enough new stuff that it's working and the old, the, the new stuff that, the stuff that's not on any albums, right? Mm -hmm. That I've been, that I was working on in fe February yeah. is tighter and better. So I still think that people won't hate me that I'm going to have that's at great. least 30 minutes that they that's, might that's have heard. Awesome. That's you know? awesome. Um, though my closer isn't working. I'm still doing the tantric sex closer because uh, the new closer isn't working. Um, eh, might, have to, might have to move some stuff around. But I, I found like this happens to me all the time where you start to change a little thing in a bit and then like the core laugh moves. <laughs> And it's not this. It's not the same place it was, and the laugh changes. And it, it's. I feel like sometimes it's like maybe this chunk has four great laughs in it, and when I try to squeeze out a fifth one, it just goes. The four go no. Well, <laughs> you can you can put me over here, but this this line here is not going to work anymore. Right. Right. I don't. I. I have no idea. There's no. I don't understand it. I don't know what the math is on it, but I can't seem to fix it myself. There's just there's there's issues with. With where, like, I have, I, I have, the gender joke is fucking rocking. I have a new. Uh, it's funny. The, uh, I just saw a little bit of it at You, you saw show the new, the Bark. new um, Schrodinger's cat line, right? Yes. That was Although the first I time don't, I tried it. I don't. I get it? I cannot remember the Schrodinger's. I can't remember what that means. Uh, I, what? By the way, I just t remembered how to remember Occam's razor about a year ago. Right. And okay. Venn diagrams. Yes. There's like three things that are referenced by nerds. Uh, right, right, right. And uh, the cat thing is, uh, it's actually in the zeitgeist because Dan Telfer has a Schrodinger's cat joke as well. Okay. And uh, two people out of the, <laughs> the 17 people Saturday Second Show were, no, four, uh, got, the, got the cat joke. Uh, the rest of them kind of laughed because uh, I swore. And uh, <laughs> So what do you do with a joke like that? Are you going to keep it or is it slow down the pacing? Um, it might slow down the pacing, but what it what it requires, that, that kind of joke. I had a joke back in 97 about, uh, coast, it was about uh, Serbia, the, uh, the war in Yugoslavia. Yeah. And it took three years for that joke to work. Uh, the the, war I don't was think over. the war took that long. No, no, the war was over. Okay. Yugoslavia was no longer. Yeah, and uh, I kept doing it anyway because I finally got the joke to work, <laughs> and I was like, "Fuck you, people!" It was a Mall of America joke that they should call it the Mall of Yugoslavia, which would be two anchor stores fighting over ethnic superiority. Wow, that Jackie. was the, it. Was such a long way to wow. go. Wow, a yeah. lot of effort for that joke. So far, so far to go. But l I'll tell you this much: All right. is what it did was it required a tag. Mm -hmm. And that's what the Schrodinger's cat joke, I think, will what require. What does Schrodinger... What, what, is, what is the deal with it? Yeah, what's First it of mean? all, it's hard to say, and so you're right. Schroding, Schrodinger. Schrodinger, yeah. Okay. And so the, here's the thing about the cat. Uh, and it's hypothetical because nobody put a... No cats were killed in the making of this hypothetical math thing. Kyle, I'm going to need some nerd backup on this in case I get it wrong. Uh, the cat goes in a box. Uh, is the cat in the box? If you don't look, open the box. The the cat is only in the box once you. It is either in the box or not in the box when you open up the box. Is that like if a if a tree falls in the woods and no one? Did I? What did I miss? All right. Please explain. Cat goes in the box. Poison gas goes in the box. Oh, really? Open up the poison gas. Uh, the cat. You don't open the box. Maybe the cat's alive. Maybe the cat's dead. You don't know until you open the box. So mm -hmm. as far as it's existing in the box on a quantum level, it's both alive and dead until it's confirmed. Wow, yeah, that's just a really big piece, you guys. Hi, how's it going over? That's here? a lot for a late show Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck on that one, J.K. <laughs> I, first of all, I, I can't believe I fucking forgot the 
poison. Because the front <laughs> is the cat in the box, Jackie. What the hell is your breath? Maybe it's not the box. Maybe it's not the, the box. The cat's in a hat? Jackie, what, what are you talking about? What, are you sure that's someone not put a cat Dr. in the Dr. Seuss's box? cat? Oh, oh, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, Dan Telfer is going, you don't deserve that reference. <laughs> and, uh, he was he on the correct. show at Mount Baldy with me. He yeah, he, he opened Anderson. for you in Mount Baldy. Right? Yeah, yeah, it was fun. Oh, good. And it, I haven't it, seen... What, what did he get to do? 20? Yeah, 20 or 30. I don't yeah. know. But, he, uh, he was great. Yeah, he was hilarious. But we're we're going down... Like I went up by myself because I got there late. I I'm just like, these mountain people are like, all right, here you go. Get on the ski lift. And I got merch. It's you know, I'm like, don't, <laughs> don't let my merch drop. So I go. Is it an open ski lift? Yes, it's wide open, and it's no. and it's like from well, 1940. Guess, There's no safety not, hatches. No longer available for this gig. Dude, this one. it is. It, it looks I, so frail and feeble. Yeah, right? I don't. It, I don't enjoy yes. heights. I and don't I'm enjoy looking ski down. Lifts. I'm like, I just all I can say is, all right, I would survive this fall. I would not survive this fall because the ground just goes up and down, right? Yeah. It, the things just. But I, I was by myself. Almost the entire ride up, just me in this empty ski lift that's like from the nineteen fifties. <laughs> right. I felt like I was so in this soon. weird movie. And my son used to play this video game in an arcade where where killer clowns would come yeah. out of an old have you seen that one? Yeah. I felt like clowns were gonna come and get me. Yeah. And I'm like over pine trees. Mm -hmm. Like I I can see the top of a pine tree. Yeah, it no. was really cool and it was light out because it was ever 7 Sun Valley, Idaho? No. Uh, it was a, it was a bar gig in the richest place in the world, right? And uh, they had ice sculptures everywhere. Oh it was like God. Christmas. Right. It was so gorgeous and so beautiful. And you would get free ski lift tickets mm -hmm. and free. Um, uh, and I, I was like, well, I want to. I don't ski. I don't. This doesn't accelerate. So I would uh, never I, ski. It well, kills I, Kennedys and it kills <laughs> Sonny Bono. <laughs> it's, it is a. It's, <laughs> it, well, it kills senators. It kills uh, senators. So, but and senators' nephews. <laughs> exactly. So I, but I can't. Um, so I, but I got on the ski lift, and it was one of those, right? Mm -hmm. And this is the freaking bunny hill. Yeah. And I'm holding on to the side of the thing with dear life, and I get to the top of the thing, and the kids yelling, "Just jump off!" Because I was thinking about going up there because there was a place to go have cocoa, hot yeah, cocoa, and sure. see, the, see the site. And I was like, "Not getting off." <laughs> And he goes, what? And I said, I'm just it's round trip on this one. <laughs> and he goes, all right, I'll, I'll call down there. Tell him you're coming. <laughs> and I was like, okay. I could have been on that thing for six hours. It was so oh. quiet and beautiful. Mm. But on the way back, it was now it's nighttime. Yeah. And so we're coming down Mount Baldy and you can see all of Los Angeles. Oh, and that's neat. It's beautiful. And it's that's so cool. quiet. I wish it were inside. Jackie. I wish it were a, like a there was there, I went on a ski lift thing that was a it was a, it was like a little rocking it was like uh, it was a little gondola thing uh -huh. and that was up to the tallest Buddha in the world in Hong Kong. Wow. And it was an amazing amazing ride. Yeah. Uh but it was all enclosed but it was like a mile. Wow. Like it was a 15 20 minute thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is gorgeous. It was really pretty. I think this is a time for another Max Fun break. Let's do it. Well, here we are. It's 2019. What's hot in dog news? Well, I'll tell you what. I've got some hot ear news. According to the Los Angeles Times, the TSA is now deploying more floppy-eared dogs because they are less scary than pointy-eared dogs. Now, I don't want to call out the Los Angeles Times, but already a typo in the headline should be sticky up the ears. That is true. You know. But did you also know that Ford has created a concept dog crate that cancels out the noise of fireworks? I mean, yeah, it's about time, yeah, right? About time. <laughs> Ford, what have you been doing up until now? Nothing. Did you know that dogs can smell 40 times better? Better than humans, which I do believe means they can smell crime. <gasps> I mean, it's hot 2019. For all your dog needs, come on over to Can I Pet Your Dog every Tuesday. And we're back, you guys. It was mm. a max fun break. Who, who's, who's, to, who's to say? Uh, <laughs> are you guys all don't, throwing money at Max Fun or Patreon? Or I hope they are. My Venmo? Well, something. No, we, your Venmo? Jeez. Yeah. That descended a, quickly into so just handing just me cash. Jackie. Just someone, a uh, couple of bucks. subscribe to Max Fun if you can. Yeah, yeah. That helps do it. us out. It uh, does help Let us. them know that we Did you sent send them you your W9? No. Nope. Nope. <laughs> I've already received a check from them. You have? Yeah, I sent you a picture. <laughs> what? Oh, you're impressed. Yeah. Well, I, I don't know if you guys understand. I don't understand. I don't think you understand. This is what I do for a living. I don't know. 
I don't know what your primary incomes are, but mine is absolutely everything I do. <laughs> <laughs> That's no, my primary income. Oh, we did. You know, a club closed, and it, it was. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> one in Houston. Oh, that. Oh, well, listen. It was. Uh, <laughs> listen. <laughs> Again, don't tag shit on Twitter. We're no, talking I mean, to you. I think they listen to our podcast. Oh no, but I know, but I'd, yeah, well, I. Yeah, people I don't want... just you know whatever. Everyone's been. It's hard to lose a business. It's, yeah, it's it's More very hard. Will be revealed. And um, I. I was like the second to last weekend there, I think. I thought you were the last. I think Ada Rodriguez was right was after Was the me. one. Oh, was that? That's right. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, uh, I got a notification that the check had bounced from the club manager, the club owner, which is not common. <laughs> Usually no, they no. have at this point moved to Mexico. KC, by the way? Yeah. Paid me a cashier's check. Yes. 11 weeks. He was like, we're not playing right now. That's we're just going to pay comics. And but, I was like, Thank so you. I did get paid. Mm-hmm. It was a little delayed. I It was PayPal to me. Mm-hmm. And all is well. But I feel bad that the club isn't open anymore. And of course, I mean, I think the club in Minneapolis went down as well, right? Right. There's one in Minneapolis, one in Houston. Yeah. And then... There was that other club in Portland that bounced a check. The, oh, Barry's, uh, yeah. Uh, the Harvey's. Yeah, Harvey's. Harvey's yeah, yeah, Barry's the guy that used Barry, to own he it. Used to own it. I right. don't know and why I'm still he, blaming him. Don't blame him. He okay. uh, he he was he was a crazy person. I mean, but, and uh, he paid shitty, but they didn't bounce. Right, they never bounced because he paid so low. Yeah. You, but, how, uh, why would you bounce a twenty five dollars? Yeah. Check? How are you going to bounce uh, rolls of quarters? It's going to be fun. When I was looking through all my all the, these boxes, I found a contract for um, one nighters I was doing in the early nineties. Um, yeah. For one nighters in Northern California, Eureka up in that area. Okay. Five hundred dollars plus hotels. Four nights, yep. five hundred dollars. Yeah, featuring? featuring plus hotels though. Ninety, ninety one, ninety two. Yeah, that's the yeah. That's I know. yeah. The it's, price has not gone up. Not I know. Exactly. Shocking. It's what's shocking. that Visalia room pay? But that, uh, or do they pass a hat? They're, they're hat. The the idea of a hat uh, makes my blood boil, like and bucks made up that. okay. Hat, hat Does. Does uh, yeah, a yeah. hat pay more on sometimes on yeah. one nighters? Sometimes a hat will pay more. I'll take a hat over a check of love. I will take a hat over a check of love. Yeah, Kyle Clark, find him. Do you know <laughs> Phil Griffiths in um, in the Bay Area? He runs a room in Half Moon Bay, yeah. and it's a one nighter, and they do a hat, and they he says they make more money than if they'd uh, charge the cover. 100%. Yeah, interesting. All right, I don't. I don't want to spend my my last year's on earth um, <laughs> counting on a, out hat? a hat yeah but <laughs> yeah who knows where this business is going it's going big corporate and hats. yeah and hats yeah jesus but, you know what Hedge i catch funds and hats uh jackie cation never wanted to own a haberdashery how about that <laughs> and so that's a andy kindler joke i feel like that'd be something andy kindler would say it would be a haberdashery reference so he he really Have would. Have a dashery. Have a dashery. Where are we at? How are we doing? Oh my god! So I need sets. I don't have any oh, shows. Jesus. That was. I don't have any wow. shows. Wow! I need to replay that one because that uh, sounded I said different. Sex? It sounded uh, like you said I sex. I don't need sex. It's all working out. Um, so, um, why does Andy want you out of the house? I don't know. You seem like such a charming, <laughs> pleasant lady. <laughs> When I come back to the house, I'm in such a good mood from doing shows and from oh, uh, I see. that uh, that I that I uh, I'm awake. Yeah, uh, I'm available for. So that's that's all it takes is if you're awake. Well, no, I'm. It's I, happening. Well, you know how you're you're kind of buzzed coming sure. back from a set. Yeah, yeah. Then you think, hey, sexy times. Oh, I know. And I think. Uh, oh, let me finish watching The Sopranos. Right. You. That's right. You are watching. Okay, so my sister calls me and says, hey, there's a book about Frank Balistrieri out. And I was like, who? And Frank Balistrieri is the Milwaukee version of the mob. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You told me. You told oh, me did we? That. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's all I got. What do you guys got? Ah, nipped it in the bud, Kyle. <laughs> good call. Good call. You're not wrong. It's a, it's a, you're, you're correct to, to put the kibosh on that. What? Who else? Uh, oh, so Will C was hosted that one night mm-hmm. and Thursday at in, in Kansas City, and he talked about doing USO shows. Mm-hmm. And I was like, 
oh, do you only bring, because he's a veteran. I was oh. like, do you only bring veterans? And he said, no. And I said, I will go. I need a... Uh, Does USO pays better than Department of Defense, right? Uh, Armed Forces Entertainment is the only one I've ever gone on. I, I, used to... I believe that USO pays better than all yeah. of it. Yeah, right, right, right. Because um, USO isn't a government thing. I don't know. I, I think Armed Forces Entertainment is directly tied to the government and okay. USO isn't. Fair enough. Do they like? Did Bob Hope Bob Hope co-found? There was an elbow squeezer. Let's talk about. Oh, hey, yeah. any, any? You want to change the name of the podcast to "What's Louis C.K. Doing This Week"? Because <laughs> um, there was some huge. Everybody kept sending us like. To, uh, there was some new. Um, you didn't you? Well, you posted an article about him. Oh yeah, no somebody somebody. somebody ba- it, it was a good article about. How well we're not because he's in, in on the improvs now. He's right. doing the improvs. Oh yeah, he's in it with the improvs. Yeah, he's <laughs> well. He's got well. I, but I yeah. think he's working a couple of sure. Yeah. So I mean, out. it's I, I can't get mad that he's working. It's not my energy. No, I just, no, it's taking a valuable real estate in my brain. I can't possibly care anymore. You know, <laughs> honestly though, I I just want you and me to be working and our and our funny funny friends to be working and for, our funny female yeah. friends to be working and yeah. it and there's still constant evidence that women aren't you know female headliners aren't being booked in commensurate numbers yeah. as to ha- their existence i genuinely love ann arbor's policy of one woman comic up per month headlining that's great yeah. i almost think you need uh, some sort of eeoc like a uh, guidelines now yeah. we there has to be a quota because they are people are just not doing it and they're not yeah. being shamed into it they don't seem to give a fuck and they don't they're not embarrassed by their calendars if there are only men on them and yeah. there's one woman and she's the MC, and you know right. like it's not enough and they don't seem to give a shit right i don't know what to do and, um, but I, but if we if we you know actively call it out, we're not going to work anywhere. Right, right. So we're in a fucking bind that way. Right, because I just I want to work on this hour. That's all I want to do. Mm-hmm. I literally I I was thinking about calling Jason Big Glass and seeing if he'll let me do a, a Vermont Clubhouse week. Oh, he and he yeah. will. He was he was nice enough to do it. I just uh, I don't know if. Um, just I don't know if I want to drive to Vermont in the middle of the day, and but there's usually like the the one week I did do it I did it like a couple of years ago right before this is um, in Los Angeles yeah. not in Vermont oh right on just Vermont. to clarify yeah, yeah, for yeah our, sure yeah our many foreign listeners oh I know our many and and the Vermont oh I've I forgot to send uh, avails fast yeah. enough for Vermont he sent me uh, I options. got a weekend in Vermont did you get one yeah in October well played thank you whoops oh, we, oh my god oh. we ta- that was the most embarrassing high five ever was it worse than me thinking the cat wasn't in the box <laughs> I don't know <laughs> Kyle yes this, this is a very Jackie Cation episode of Jackie and Lori it's uh <laughs> it's I'm just so tired I can't I can't even hit your a uh, hand when you when when we do a high five. So October in Vermont, yeah, mm-hmm. that'll be beautiful. It'll be great. Yeah, get yourself some maple syrup and a pancake. Rock on. Okay, thanks. That's a great party idea. <laughs> well, I know how to party. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of pancakes, but I I like a pancake sometimes. Oh, you love pancakes. I do. And it's one of last your time I was foods. there, somebody gave me like Vermont pancake mix, which I've made many times. I I put a, I kept it all in New York and I make it there. And okay. Jackie, I've flown so much recently. Yeah. I could have exploded on any of these flights. Right, right. Which is, I'm glad you're not, quite honestly, I'm glad you're not going. Though I did think it was funny that you were like, have you been, to, should I recommend you at the at the? Well, at I was trying attic? to come up with names. Right. I, 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 and I gave you names. And I, one of our friends was available. What was cool is so many of our female headliner friends were not available this yeah. weekend. Thank God. They were all well, They were all working. Somebody who should have been was, uh, was available, but she should be working. So I gave her. East Coast or? Uh, no, our coast. Okay. And uh, I gave uh, I gave Jared her number, but he went with a local person because it's Fourth of July weekend. Fucking flights. That's why I, f- I was going to fly out on the Fourth of July during fireworks. That's when I got my plane ticket because it's yeah. so much cheaper than flying out on the Fifth of July. Yeah. Um. So to get somebody to c- fly out uh, with two days notice is yeah. ridiculous. So. Um, so he's just going local. Yeah, that's good though. Yeah. Um. But Eleanor I'm Kerrigan. And- Oh yeah, she's funny. She's been she's one of us. She's Kansas been at Comic City of the this week. weekend. 
Oh, cool. Yeah. At at the club uh, you yeah, just the left. Yeah, the club oh, I just left. So she's she's gonna crash. Yeah, she's gonna crash. It'll be. Um, it was such a well run club for it being eleven weeks in, and and they were all pretty sad about the the kitchen, obviously. But they were sure. like, you know what? How can we? How can I help? Better the kitchen than the bar. Yeah, I suppose. Right. Yeah. If you're a club, yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. The kitchen looked really nice, though. He was showing me around. Not for you, not for me, not yeah. for eaters. Right. But for, yeah. But for drinkers. Yeah, drinkers. People love to drink. You don't need a, you don't need a kitchen to open a bag of potato chips. Right. They can't even Put serve in a, potato chips. Because, really? Yeah, yeah. They Because they need the health department to oh. come through. So All right. they, can't, they can't even have popcorn and, and Costco ta- taquitos. I, you know what, I, I have to get blood tests tomorrow morning, so I have to be an eight, on an eight-hour fast, and I, oh, really? in, I gorged myself at 7.25 tonight, <laughs> Right, <laughs> and I feel so gross. Because <laughs> you are full. <laughs> I am full. So are, is there really a show with Jackie Fabulous on, on Friday this week? Saturday. It's Saturday? Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. Am I doing it? I don't know. Okay. I believe me, I hit her up the moment I realized I wasn't going to the comedy attic. I think I might have lost it because I told her to email me with it. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I think she booked everybody else on the thread. Yeah. I think yeah. she did. And I, I, I came in late and I said, I'll even just do five minutes, please. She's been cracking me up on the thread, Jackie Fabulous. Yes. Yeah. She's doing well on America's Got Talent. Yeah. So watch her. And if and it, I think there's a chance to vote at some point, right? Probably. For the public. So yeah, yeah. do vote for Jackie Fabulous because she's really funny. She's a great lady. And, and a great it comic. totally yeah. makes a huge difference in a comic's life if they can do well on that show. MaximumFun.org Comedy and culture. Artist owned. Audience supported.